Let's see how to write all the terms in the expansion of x squared plus 2 over x raised to the power of 4. Well, just as in our previous tutorials, we start by comparing what we have here to the left-hand side of the binomial expansions formula. In doing so, we quickly see that the only difference between the two is that we've replaced a by x squared, b by 2 over x, and n by 4. So to get started, we can copy the right-hand side of this formula, replacing every a we see by x squared, every b by 2 over x, and every n by 4. In other words, we start by writing that this equals to the sum from r equals to 0 up to 4 of the binomial coefficient 4r times, in parentheses, x squared raised to the power of 4 minus r times, in parentheses, 2 over x raised to the power of r. Now, the expression that I'm currently underlining in green is the general term of our expansion. And if you've been watching the previous tutorials, you'll know that I like to call it t sub r, or t of r. Now, every single term that we'll end up with will be obtained thanks to the general term that we've underlined in green. So the first thing we want to make sure to do is to simplify this expression as much as possible. So let's go ahead. I'll start by rewriting it. That's t sub r, which equals to the binomial coefficient 4r, times, in parentheses, x squared raised to the power of 4 minus r, times, in parentheses, 2 over x raised to the power of r. The first thing we need to do here is to distribute these powers across these parentheses. Looking at this first pair of parentheses, we can see that we have an x squared inside them, and they're being raised to the power of 4 minus r. So to distribute this power of 4 minus r correctly, we use the following law. Any number a raised to a power of m, which is then being raised to the power of n, equals to a raised to the power of m times n. In other words, this power of 4 minus r multiplies the power of 2 on the x. Looking at the second pair of parentheses, we can see that we have 2 over x, all of which is being raised to the power of r. Now to take care of that, we use the following rule. If we have a number a over a number b, and that they are both being raised to a power r, then the power of r distributes onto both the a and the b. In other words, that's equal to a to the power of r over b to the power of r. So we'll have 2 to the power of r over x to the power of r. In other words, our general term equals to the binomial coefficient 4r times x to the power of 2 times 4, which is 8, minus 2 times r, so that's 2r. So that's x to the power of 8 minus 2r times 2 to the power of r over x to the power of r. The next thing worth pointing out is that this 2 to the power of r over x to the power of r can be rewritten as 2 to the power of r times x raised to the power of negative r. In other words, we can go ahead and state that this equals to the binomial coefficient 4r times x to the power of 8 minus 2r times 2 to the power of r times x to the power of negative r. Finally, multiplying these two powers of x together, remember that we add their respective exponents, leads to the following. This equals to the binomial coefficient 4r times 2 raised to the power of r times x raised to the power of 8 minus 3r. And that's the general term of this expansion. And in fact, I'll go ahead and box that. Although it may seem like simplifying the general term is a lot of work, getting it out of the way right at the beginning like we just did will save us from many potential mistakes in our working, so do get in the habit of doing this. Now back to our sum. Since we called the general term t sub r, we can now write this sum from r equals to 0 up to 4 as being equal to t of 0 plus t of 1 plus t of 2 plus t of 3 plus t of 4. And to find each of these terms, t0, t1, t2, and so on, all we'll have to do is replace every r value that we see inside the expression for our general term by the corresponding r value of the term. Remember, here's how that works. We can now state that this equals to t0, so I replace every single r I see by 0, so that's the binomial coefficient for 0, times 2 raised to the power of 0, times x raised to the power of 8 minus 3 times 0, plus 
T1, for which I replace every single R by 1. So that's 4, 1 times 2 raised to the power of 1 times x raised to the power of 8 minus 3 times 1 plus 4, 2, where I replace every single R by 2. So that's the binomial coefficient 4, 2 times 2 raised to the power of 2 times x raised to the power of 8 minus 3 times 2 plus t3, where we replace every single r by 3. So that's the binomial coefficient for 3 times 2 raised to the power of 3 times x raised to the power of 8 minus 3 times 3. And finally, we add to that t4, for which we replace every single r by 4. So that's the binomial coefficient for 4 times 2 raised to the power of 4 times x raised to the power of 8 minus 3 times 4. And as such, we've now written all of the terms in our expansion. But we can't stop there. Indeed, we have to simplify each of these as much as possible. So to get us started, let's calculate each of these powers of 2 and of x that we see in all of the terms here. Looking at this first term, we have 2 to the power of 0, and 2 to the power of 0 is just equal to 1, and that multiplies x raised to the power of 8 minus 3 times 0. So that's 8 minus 0. In other words, that's x raised to the power of 8. In the second term, we have 2 to the power of 1, which is just 2, times x raised to the power of 8 minus 3 times 1. So that's x to the power of 8 minus 3, which is x raised to the power of 5. We carry on. In the next term, we have 2 to the power of 2. Well, that's 4, and that multiplies x raised to the power of 8 minus 3 times 2. So that's x to the power of 8 minus 6, which is x raised to the power of 2. We carry on. In the next term, we have 2 to the power of 3. Well, that's equal to 8. And that multiplies x raised to the power of 8 minus 3 times 3. So that's 8 minus 9. That's x raised to the power of negative 1. Finally, for the last term, we have 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. And that multiplies x raised to the power of 8 minus 3 times 4. So that's 8 minus 12. So that's x raised to the power of negative 4. All right, now that all the powers of 2 and of x have been taken care of, all we have to do is find the value of each of the binomial coefficients we have. And for that, we use the same rules as we saw in our previous examples. Remember, the first and the last binomial coefficient will always be equal to 1. So we can just write that straight away and say that's a 1 here and a 1 at the end here. Next, the second coefficient as we go from left to right, as well as the second coefficient as we go from right to left, so those are the coefficients 4, 1 and 4, 3, are both always equal to the power to which we raise the binomial, so in this case 4. So without any calculations, we can just go ahead and say that 4, 1 is equal to 4 and 4, 3 is also equal to 4. Finally, we need to take care of this middle binomial coefficient, the 4, 2 that we have there, and for that we can use the binomial coefficient formula. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just make a little bit of space over here, inside of which I'll do the calculations. The binomial coefficient 4, 2 equals to factorial 4 over factorial 4 minus 2 times factorial 2. That's equal to factorial 4 over factorial 2 times factorial 2. And that's equal to 4 times 3 times factorial 2 over factorial 2 times factorial 2. We have a factorial 2 at the top and the bottom that cancel out, leaving us with 4 times 3 over factorial 2, which is just equal to 2. Finally, this is equal to 6. So we can go ahead and state that the middle coefficient for 2 is equal to 6. And at this stage, we're ready to state our final answer. Indeed, we can now write that x squared plus 2 over x raised to the power of 4 is equal to 1 times 1 times x to the power of 8, which is just x raised to the power of 8, plus 4 times 2 times x to the power of 5, which leads to 8 times x to the power of 5. We add to that 6 times 4 times x squared. Well, 6 times 4 is 24, so that's 24x squared. We add to that 4 times 8 times x to the power of negative 1, and since 4 times 8 is 32, that's 32 times x to the power of negative 1. Finally, we add to that 
1 times 16 times x to the power of negative 4. So that's 16 times x to the power of negative 4. And we're done. We've just written all of the terms in the expansion of x squared plus 2 over x raised to the power of 4. And we did so using the binomial theorem. And that's it for this tutorial.